I'm Colin Goodory, and tonight we're going to be interviewing some of the characters from the movie Watcher in the Woods 2. This amazing movie was made and made from a few people, and I am surprisingly the stunt coordinator of this movie. So, without further ado, I introduce Ethan Goodwarden. How are ya? Um, I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, Colin. How's it going? I'm um, good. I, I, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, uh, um, so, how, how did you come up with the idea of this movie? Well, it's a funny story, actually, Colin. The the idea from this movie sort of came from uh, came from uh, my heavily influenced background as a writer, as you know. Uh, Watcher in the Woods one remarkable success, and I really wanted to give the fans something that they could really feel proud of in the universe of Watcher in the Woods. So, the idea started uh, as a way to follow up a great movie. How do you make a great sequel? Um, I just felt like I had to capitalize on what we already had going and open up new avenues for the future, so uh, I wouldn't rule out right now that there wouldn't be a Watcher in the Woods 3, honestly. Okay, um, so was it easy to do it with your family? That's a good question, Colin. Working with your family always is a, it's, it's a different experience, obviously. Um, working with more professional uh, actors is sometimes a little bit easier, but... You have that level of connection, you, as I'm sure you know, on set. Um, a few times it got a little chippy with the, the cast and crew, um, but I'd say overall it was a good experience, and um, I would definitely consider working with uh, this group again in the future. Um, so was it, was it just easy to do it in general? You know what, Colin? Um, in general, it was pretty, it was harder than we thought it was going to be, I'll tell you that. We, we slated about two days to shoot this movie, ended up taking about four days. And then there was editing, sound design, all the stuff that you've got to go through. But uh, it took a long time, but I'm very happy with the product we've ended up with. All right, so um, who was the most difficult to work with? Oh, now you've got me in a saucy situation here, Colin. Um... Um, honestly, uh, I couldn't pinpoint one person. <laughs> uh, I'd say that the thing that uh, derailed us the most was sort of the, um, the, the more progressive uh, attaboy attitude that we sort of had on set. Uh, everybody was chiming in with their opinions during the, during the film, which as a director, you don't always love to hear. I'm always open to critique, criticism, but during the movie, sometimes there was a lot of times where uh, our actors were chiming in with ideas for the, for the film. And uh, that, that sometimes uh, made it take longer, but I um, uh, couldn't say that there was one person that really uh, really rubbed me the wrong way. So how was it, uh, like, how hard, like, how hard was it to write the play? Um, it took a little while to write. I'd say it took about four months to write the entire story. Went through a lot of revisions, a lot of rewrites. Um, but once we, once we reached the end and the final draft, I could really see that it was going to be a, a powerful piece and a powerful movie. So at that point, you're just thinking about casting and how to bring a beautiful story to life and how to accurately depict this story that we have so concretely. And I'd say that was the difficult part casting-wise. Thank you. So, um, were, was there ever a point in the movie where you forgot what the, like you were writing and you were <laughs> thinking, what's next? You know, <laughs> it didn't happen to me. Luckily, I'm like I'm I'm grateful. I didn't have any moments of, <laughs> of memory loss on set. I I think throughout it, I had a clear head. I remember I knew what we were gonna do. Uh, I think we all went into it with a good attitude of uh, of uh, hard work and uh, focus. And I think that really shows up on stage and on screen. And I think that's what the audience is going to really enjoy about tonight. All right. So I have one last question for you. What would you rate this movie? Absolutely 10 out of 10, Colin. I mean, a lot of people have talked about how Watcher in the Woods 1 is possibly the greatest movie to ever come out. Uh, a lot of haters talking about how there's no way you can top number one. Number one is such a perfect movie. But honestly, we just we would say to those people, um, watch and learn. Watch this movie and tell me it's not better than the first one. I mean, we've improved on every aspect. We've improved our acting, filming, lighting, sound design, set design. I mean, it's all better. It's all bigger. 
and it's coming to you tonight at 11.50 and everyone. So I, I'm really happy with the product we have here. All right, well, thank you. Um, um, it's been nice to know all these facts. Thank you so much for having me, Colin. It's been great. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Colin Goodwin again, and I'm going to be interviewing another member of this and his this um, heart hitting movie about a it's a very scary movie. So, um, without further ado, introducing Kumar Dari Gunawardin. Woo! Yeah. Right here. Good to see you. Ah. Um. So, Kumar, how did you like the director? The director was very good. Um. He, you know, um. I've worked on several other projects before. We did earlier versions of Watcher in the Wood. Um, some uh, uh, of the footage was lost, but I mean, but overall, we uh, had worked a couple different times different on the same on the original Watcher in the Woods. So um, we have a good working relationship. You know, it's good sometimes to work with family. Sometimes it can be difficult, but I think overall we did. A, you know, had a, had a good time. Good. Um. So. Um. Did, how how were you how did you enjoy making the movie what was it fun was it just terribly hard was it stupid was it awful <laughs> no, was it no. idiotic it was a lot of fun okay take it at least there okay um, yeah it was fun it was a lot of fun we 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 uh, the set was very it was a good vibe on the set we had a good interaction with everybody we would joke and laugh and but when it, you know when we needed to be serious we would get serious there were some members of the cast and crew who got a little Let's say they lacked a little bit of focus. I don't want to name names, but um, overall, though, we got through it. I think it was a good, yeah, we had a fun time. Thank you. I hope those characters aren't listening right I now. Hope, I, hope not. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but yeah, let's just leave so, it. So, um, what would you rate this movie? Oh, well, I have not seen it, seen the whole finished product, so, but I have a good feeling about it. I say, it, out of a possible five stars, I would give it four just based on my vibe. But we'll see. I'm going to wait till I see it to really make my final determination. So. All right. Well, well, we will be having another interview after the premiere. So everyone will be able to see the movie. Maybe not. Maybe because the power lines may be cut. Um, so. Wait, did you hear something? Uh, something going to happen? Uh, yes. Um, uh, we're expecting a huge storm tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay. So. So well, somebody's not sabotaging. That's what I was worried about. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, okay. Because so, there's some haters out there. Emerald Productions, Kick mm -hmm. Whatever. I don't know what you names. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Um, and welcome. I'll see you at the premiere. Yes, yes, have the stunt coordinator. Woo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin Goonwarden here again, and I'm going to be interviewing Laura Goonwarden, who played the character Julia in this movie. Um, so without further ado, let me introduce Laura Goonwarden. Woo! Hello, everyone. So, can I ask you a few questions, Miss Goonwarden? Go right ahead. All right, so... Um, how would you rate this movie? I, just like Kumar has said, I have not seen the movie yet, so I, I do have a very good feeling because I'm very proud of the work that we have done. I would say a 4 out of 5. I may change that after I have seen the movie, but right now a 4 out of 5. Alright, so, um, was it hard wearing the same clothes every day of the production? It was really hard having to do that because we had to take pictures of what we were wearing so that we made sure that it was like the exact same thing. We didn't, maybe a tie or something like that or the jacket we were wearing was different. So that was a little bit hard and challenging, but I think that we did a good job with it. <laughs> okay, um, so, um, sorry, I have these little outbursts sometimes. Everything's okay. So, um, well, let's see here, what should I ask next? Um, uh, how did you come up with the costumes? The costumes were something that I had talked over with our directors for a little while, figuring out what would really be good for each character. And I think, as you'll see in the movie, we came up with some pretty good costumes that represented our characters in the movies, their personalities very well. 
Okay, um, so... <laughs> Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> what uh, is this? This means wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was good questions up till then. Like, uh, should we?